everyone i am so glad to be giving you guys another video sorry i took a slight break but i just took a slight break that's all i can kind of say but we are back again with another video um, it's a little bit different than what i've brought you guys in the past but it is aligning with the lifestyle content that i am trying to you know broaden and bring to you guys in this near future but before we get into all the smell goods and the nitty gritties on that i want to make sure that you like and subscribe and also press the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of our lovely videos um, so yeah, stay tuned because we finna we finna really get into the smells today. <laughs> So you guys know on my channel that I always talk about looking good and feeling good. And what also closely works hand in hand with that is smelling good. I mean, we all know hygiene is very, very important. And you know, if you smell good, I feel like you also feel good as well because scents are just a very important thing in society. Like the way you smell, different types of scents and such and such. So before we get into my scent collection, um, I know you guys are excited to get to it because I am as well. Uh, but before we get into it, let's get into the scent foundations. Like what starts with scents? Um, like, you know, how do you go about picking the right scents? What are the different types of scent? When it comes to the four main scent groups, we have the floral fruity combination. We also have the fresh scents. We also have warm and spicy. And finally and last but not least, we have earth woodsy types of fragrances. And you might be thinking, now how the hell you get all these fragrances out of just those four scents? Well, believe it or not, it's a science when it comes to fragrances. Since we're not gonna get into the whole scientific DNA of these fragrances, we're just gonna keep it real nice and simple. Um, I wanted to give you guys kind of like a starter kit or like a how-to if you're trying to up your fragrance game. Um, me, myself, personally, I started from the trenches. I mean, we talking about Bath and Body Works scents. We're talking about Victoria's Secret scents. Those types of uh, fragrances uh, is what I kind of like um, stuck to. So, so, so it was basically those fragrances I stuck to, especially as I was younger of like my smell goods and my favorites. Um, but as I grew up, um, I wanted to kind of learn a little bit more and be more mature or whatever you want to call it. I just wanted to up my fragrance game at the end of the day. Speaking of the things I wanted to get into, um, let's get into my collection. Here we are with my personal collection. Now, as long as I've been, you know, using my nose, I have always been keen to more uh, floral fruity scents. Now, with floral fruity scents, you can have an arrange of different like perfumes, categories, um, and things like that. I like sweeter scents, but not like artificially sweet scents, not like candle artificially sweet. Um, I wanted my perfumes to last longer. Um, and so I was like, okay, when it comes to those type of qualities that I want in my perfume, I should probably like look into those longer lasting, better rated perfumes, uh, more so than what I've normally been into. So when it comes to my scents and the floral scents that I like, um, I started to research on Sephora because they have just an excellent little category or guide to fragrances. Um, so usually that was my go-to as far as uh, stepping up my fragrance game. And honestly, it helped a whole lot because as you can see I'm gonna insert a little clip but as you can see the guide not only breaks down the four scent families but you can also take a fragrance quiz to kind of get more into the different types of fragrances that are out there and what you may be more keen to which I thought it was very very helpful and it helped me get the things you see here before me today so when it comes to perfumes and parfums, um, just to let you know, there is a difference um, um, in the lower quality scents um, and eau de parfums range in a higher quality, longer lasting. The eau de parfum are of a higher quality. The reason why I learned that um, is from this Instagram group called uh, Black Girls Smell Good. I'm going to link their Instagram below in this video because it honestly helped me as well. Kind of broaden my fragrance horizon and just kind of be more open to what may be out there and what I could be trying next. So when I started my 
my perfume collection. I knew perfume is not cheap and that's something you have to consider when you want to do something of this nature and I kind of see this as, or if you want to build a nice perfume collection, to me, that's a bit of a luxury because perfumes are an expense that's not necessary, is not a necessity. So um, you have to be very mindful of that. And I wanted to be very mindful as I talk about this because um, I just don't want to be like, yeah, go out and spend whatever on these perfumes and X, Y, Z, because that's never going to be me. Uh, I love a good budget, um, but I also know what I'm able to buy. Um, but I also want want to be a nice resource to help any uh, kind of person to help get into perfumes as well because we all start from the bottom honestly and truly I did not have a million dollars in my wallet just to be spending on perfumes so I definitely wanted to keep this in mind and help you guys find budget friendly ways to up your perfume game as well so let's get started on mine. So on this side of my glass storage heart thing that I got from Amazon, um, I have all of my travel size perfumes. And when I started to up my perfume game, as I mentioned earlier, a uh, perfume is not cheap. So I knew that travel sizes were a lot cheaper than getting full size bottles. And that way I can spend a smaller amount sampling some of the things that, you know, I've been very interested in um, and also get kind of more bang for my buck. So let me get into my actual collection and what I have. Uh, I'm going to try to go through these without it falling because it does fall a lot. All right, so first up is a favorite, a fan favorite, and one of the first uh, perfumes that I got. It is Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. Now, you may not, uh, like I said, you may not be super new into the fragrances and things like that, but if you like floral scents, floral and kind of fruity scents, I would definitely advise the Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. I will be linking all of these mini perfumes uh, that I have in my personal collection below. I also encourage you guys to go to Sephora or Ulta and check out, you know, their fragrance guides and things like that just to, you know, get yourself some more knowledge as to, um, just to get yourself some more knowledge into fragrances. Um, so yes, Victor and Roth, this bad boy is $35. Um, again, this is my favorite. This tube is so full because it's actually my second one. Um, I absolutely love this scent. Oh, it's sweet, but not fake sweet. It's light. Um, I would say that this Victor and Roth is a very nice everyday perfume. I'm going to get into the full size of that later. I just want to let you guys know that I vouch for, for the Victor and Roth. Um, if I'm just going to run errands, I don't need anything super heavy. So I just need a couple of squirts. And by the time I come back home from running errands, I can still, you know, even if it's a little faint, I can still smell it on my wrist, which I really, really like. So that is my first recommendation is the Victor and Roth. I'm going to stick to telling you guys all about my floral or sweeter scents. And then I'm going to move on to the other categories. Now, I don't have a lot of the other categories, um, like different fragrances of the fresh or earth and woodsy or warm and spicy. But I think I may have one of each. So I can at least give you my recommendation on that. Um, but like I said, I am more of a floral and fruity scent gal so that is mostly going to be my collection so we're moving on to our next favorite um another <laughs> one that you can see that i've used quite a bit of is the gucci flora um so of course i wanted to you know be a little bit bougie when it comes to my fragrances um because i initially thought you know if you're spending quite a bit on these fragrances they should last they should be better ingredients they should be X, Y, and Z. I tested this one out and I absolutely loved it. It is a roller ball, um, just in case that matters to some of you guys. Some people like just the sprays. Some people like the roller balls. Um, I don't care either way. Gucci Floral is a stronger scent when you open it up. It really hits you in the face, which I really like. And it also lasts a bit longer than the previous perfume, the Victor and Ralph. Price for the Gucci Floral is also uh, just as affordable as the Victor and Ralph, thankfully. It is $35. Um, so please keep in mind, a great thing about these travel sizes are they are on the cheaper end. But again, when you're looking for a nice fragrance, um, you know, a good uh, a better quality fragrance should last you longer and I have had this for 
almost a year now. And again, I still have at least a little bit left. Um, I would not say my Gucci Floral is an everyday perfume. Um, I would want to save this on kind of a slightly special occasion. If I'm going on friend dates, if I am putting on a fit to go somewhere, uh, things like that. That's where I would uh, suggest you wear your Gucci Floral if you are going to cop it. It is a nicer, a little bit more... Uh, expensive because it's not expensive uh, but uh, it's a nicer scent it's a lot stronger it's more longer lasting um, so I really do appreciate this and uh, yeah this is another favorite the Gucci floral so we are moving on to our next floral sweet scent um, it is a Marc Jacobs Daisy Love um, so again I go to my favorite cosmetic stores and get some free smells of these perfume because I need to have have like a good insight of what I want to add to my collection. I don't want to just get any old thing just for the sake of getting it. I want to spend mindfully um, and also, you know, splurge a little bit. So if I can do both, I would. Um, I literally didn't have to spray this perfume and it's smacking me in the face. I absolutely love it. Um, it's the Eau de Sweet. Marc Jacobs has a different uh, sets of perfumes, Eau de Sweet, Floral, uh, Fresh Scents, things like that. Um, and this, of course, was my favorite. But I did also happen to grab another from his collection. Um, but like I said, we're going to stay on the sweeter floral topics. And this is so nice. I'll, I'm going to take it off again because it really just, like, I don't have to do much. And it's already there. Um, the way it just wafts in the room. It's so, so nice. Um, I would say the difference between this scent and I would say like my Victor and Ross scent or my Gucci scent. And I feel like this scent has a little bit more of like a maturity to it if that makes any type of sense and if you get what I'm saying then you get what I mean like it doesn't smell like older I'm not saying it smells like you know Chanel number no. five or anything like that but it's like a more muskier scent maybe a little sexier um and so that's what I think of when I think of this love and that's probably what they thought of too when they named it this Marc Jacobs was also $35. Again, we're keeping it into the affordable ranges here with these travel sizes. It is definitely the best way to go when you're trying to start your fragrance game. So that puts it into our sweeter scents for our travel sizes. Getting into the other family fragrance that I am very surprised that I have, but again, I wanted to branch out to new things. And this is why I chose the items that I have. So let's go into um, our more expensive travel sizes. This is the Tom Ford Black Orchid. It smells very good, but this is also a stronger scent. Definitely a little bit more muskier, a little more sexier. Um, a little more heavy in the scent. Um, this fragrance is one, of, like I said, one of the more expensive fragrances for a travel size. It is $49, um, but I will say it is long lasting. And again, I've had this fragrance myself for about a year now. Got the Time for a Black Orchid. Uh, I'm gonna let you know that I was not like super stoked. It kind of grew on me. So I tested it out in Sephora and I was like, okay, this smells, it's a little different. Again, it's a, it's a little muskier scent. Um, when I looked up what the background fragrances and notes were, um, then I saw that it was more of a warmer or spicier scent. So that was a little different. Um, it vaguely smelled sweet to me. So I was like, okay, maybe I can still do some, you know, something with it. But I also thought about like, you know, I... When I go out or if I want to go to a certain location, like I want to smell like an occasion. You get what I'm saying? Like when I put on this black orchid, I want to smell expensive and I'm just going to keep it real with you. And to me, black orchid smells like, bitch, you finna go to a gala. That's where you about to go. And that's why I love it. Like when someone notices a, a good scent on me, I like I get really excited. Um, so I'm really excited when I do put on the Black Orchid. Um, and it is my only warm, spicy scent in my entire collection. Um, 
Tom Ford does have the more expensive perfumes. Um, so that's why I kind of try to stick to just the travel sizes. Um, but there are quite a few of the floral fruity that I am dying to try. And hopefully I get to add to my collection. But if you want a warmer scent, a little more spicier scent, still subtly sweet, I would definitely suggest the Black Orchid. Definitely go give the scent a smell when you go to Sephora or Ulta. Like, don't let me steer you wrong and don't let me give you these suggestions because even though it comes from the bottom of my heart, these are just things that I happen to like. Um, you should definitely go test out these smells before you go cop them. Um, don't just, you know, lean on my word, even though I am. I'm very flattered that you do. It is an eau de parfum, which means it has better qualities um, and more longer lasting qualities, which I really like. And it definitely lasts, it holds up to that test. Um, that's why I guess it's $49. So shoot, if it's $49, you better last, okay? <laughs> Okay, so um, keeping it in the Tom Ford family, we have this really cute travel size Tom Ford Sole Blanc. This travel size is also $49. Um, now I'm gonna be honest with you, this is one of the first uh, fresh scents that I purchased that I kind of regret purchasing. But um, I did decide to keep it because um, it does work well when I decide to layer fragrances. Now I haven't mentioned that yet. Um, I, some of you may know about layering fragrances, putting one scent on top of another um, because the notes probably pair well together. Um, and that's uh, and that's pretty much what I do sometimes with this scent in particular. Um, I put this scent on top of or on the bottom of my Victor and Roth and it smells really really good when layered together so I'm really glad I did keep this around alone it's just a little too fresh and clean for my liking but paired with another like lighter sweeter scented uh, fragrance is my absolute go-to and I'm very glad that I got it because for $49 you better believe I'm going to keep using it um, and I also just like the way it is bottled I love the clean look of it um, I would say with this Soleil Blanc, I am very surprised it is an eau de toilet. It is what it is. Oh, I almost forgot that um, I do have another kind of warmer scent. Um, can't forget about your girl YSL. Well, that's what I call it. My girl YSL. It is the uh, Libre Perfume in the travel size. Travel size YSL Libre Perfume is $30. Uh, we're still, you know, still trying to keep it kind of affordable in the travel size, which I really like. It is a warmer, more mature kind of, not spicy. I don't, I won't say it's spicy, but I kind of say a uh, warm, sweet smell. When I open it, yeah, I definitely would say like a warm, ooh, I almost dropped it. I would definitely say like a warm, sweeter smell with this YSL Libre. Um, it is a heavier scent to me um, because it is an eau de perfume. Um, and I like to wear this if I'm going out on like dates or things like that. Something that's gonna be like a little more like sexier. Um, that's how I feel about this scent as well as that Tom Ford Black Orchid. Um, so if you are into more warmer scents, I would also recommend this one. Um, but YSL also has an array of different scents that fall into uh, I believe floral sweet um, woodsy like spicy I am not too sure about their fresh scents um, but you could definitely go on Sephora and check it out for yourself if that's not your tea you know definitely get something else you want to you want to still smell like teen spirit go ahead I'm not gonna judge you but me and me and my fragrances this is what I'm gonna be wearing okay okay so I do happen to have two fresh scents and I'm surprised I have it but they're really really good step it over to Marc Jacobs um, this is a fresh scent that I actually really really love and if you can see I don't know if you can see yes you can it's a little bit it's kind of running low I actually love it uh, a whole lot to me for it to be a fresh scent again it is light and it does smell fresh and clean because it is a fresh and clean scent, I like to wear this with an everyday um, because it's light, it's airy. It's not like, you know, I want too many people to be like, oh my God, she smells so wonderful. But you know, if you waft past me and the wind is blowing, just know that I smell nice and fresh 
and it's because of Marc Jacobs Daisy. My old roommate actually put me on to her. This bottle is $32, I believe, 32 or $30, $30. So again, very nice and affordable. Really love that and it's been used. Just know it's been used. I'll, I'll be lying to y'all, okay? <laughs> So I also have three other minis, but um, I got those because they were like free trials or free samples. Um, one thing I really like when I am buying something from Sephora or Ulta uh, are the sample fragrances. I love having the option to try those out. And number one, I didn't have to leave my house to try them. And number two, if I like them, I'm definitely gonna go back and either get the travels, actual travel size or um, get the actual full size. Um, so on one of my last purchases um i bought some makeup but i also was able to get a carolyn herrera mini and this is so cute um i have a full size carolyn herrera that we will be getting to a little bit later but when i saw this mini i absolutely had to get it because it's so cute um another thing when it comes to fragrances i love a nice bottle shape i cannot help it like that also might make me inclined to buy the perfume i'm not gonna lie because this was absolutely wonderful like even though this was free i'm very glad because i was like oh yeah i need a full size and i ended up getting it so great marketing carolyn herrera so as far as this scent goes oh one of the tops where you have to like dab it on it's not a spray or a roller ball it is a muskier scent. Um, I would definitely say it's a little bit more warm. I honestly, I forgot I had it. I haven't used it too much, but it's so cute. And hopefully in the future, I'll be able to use it again. Uh, but as I mentioned, this was a sample. Um, if you're buying some makeup from Sephora and you get an option to test out some perfume and things like that, I will always advise getting a free sample because number one, we love free. Absolutely love it. <laughs> All right, so this is another mini that I received from getting some makeup. It's the Giorgio Armani My Way. Um, I got this, again, it's another dab. This is a muskier yet sweeter scent. Um, I'm actually pretty glad I did get this, although I have not used it yet. It does smell really good. Um, this is the Giorgio Armani my way mini Giorgio Armani also has an array of perfumes and I kind of wanted to try this out I don't use it too much again it's kind of mimics one of my heavier centers I have over here um, I haven't found use to use it as of yet but I actually just really like it to have you can never have too many like minis so last with the free minis um, since I technically didn't spend my money on these, that's why I kind of put them last. Um, I have the Miss Dior, and it smells so good. It's another Eau de Parfum, which I am very surprised, but I guess that's why they only give you a little mini size. Um, if I open it up, oh, I have to screw it off. Oh. To me, this smells like light and fresh, but I haven't used it too much, but I just, I like the bottle. It's so little and cute. Add it to your collection. Use it. Don't use it. I'm not the boss of you. Just, you know, do whatever. Now moving into our full size collections. Um, luckily, I don't have too many full size because I do not get money like that. Let's get into our very lovely Carolyn Herrera full size bottle. The shape alone of this bottle, I was like, I had to get it. I went into Sephora one day and I was like, oh, no, I went into Ulta. Um, and I just was kind of browsing, kind of looking for just something to buy. Um, and I came across this and it smelled so good, but unfortunately they were sold out. Um, this is a sweeter scent as well. Oh, it is so, it smells so 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 good the bottle shape i absolutely love it um now the price for this carolyn herrera is a little bit more on the expensive side it is 71 dollars um again when you want to 
take into consideration like upping your fragrance game keep in mind that these bottles are racking up over 60 plus dollars sometimes over a hundred dollars sometimes even the 200 dollars ranges um but whatever whatever is best for you and your budget for and also also have klarna after pay and things like that so if you have it in your budget to break down the payments into four um definitely do so because that's exactly what i did um i definitely like upgrading my life and things like that but i definitely don't want to uh go over my means so if i was able to you know break down this full bottle payment into four payments i would advise someone else to do it as well because it aligned with my budget a lot easier because i didn't have to pay for it full full out honestly and i love a good budget i love a little hack a little finesse just a little something something um and that's what landed me to this i'm very glad i did buy it when i open it um uh, it doesn't smack me in the face like some of my other perfumes however when i spray it on the smell literally like bursts out which i really like um again this is a perfume that i would not wear every day um, i don't know if i said it before while i'm saying again but um this perfume is not a perfume that i would necessarily wear every day but only on special occasions not only because of the price but the quality as well you just don't want to be using up all your good stuff and you don't have to right um so yeah i definitely love this carolyn herrera get you one moving on to another favorite is this burberry her fragrance it's a sweet floral fragrance and i absolutely love it love it love it love it they did not have the trial size when i went to sephora so i had to get the full size so i got this burberry her because uh, sephora ran out of the travel size it's a nice sweet smelling full size perfume this is one of my more expensive full size perfumes it does come in at 105 dollars for this and it's a 1.6 fluid ounce even though this is a more expensive perfume i like this for an everyday perfume like the smell of it it's not too musky it's not too sweet but it's kind of sexy it's like a light sweet sexy scent i don't know how that feels or i don't know how that sounds to you but to me that sounds really good um you know i absolutely love it oh it just smells so wonderful even though this is one of my more expensive perfumes i'm absolutely glad that i bought it um i try not to use it like every day but if i'm gonna step out and i'm throwing on a cute outfit i'm also gonna wear this or i'm gonna bring this whenever i travel if i don't bring any other full size i bring one or two travel and i'm absolutely bringing this as well i'm glad i copped it you know save yourself a little bit of money um build up to this but i would suggest this burberry her as well all right we are going back to our victor and ralph so again i bought the full size because i absolutely love the travel size and i already ran through my first travel size so it only made sense to get the full one um this full size is 55 dollars so please keep that in mind this is only i believe it's a 1.7 fluid ounces as well um and yeah so this again is just like the travel size bit of frame um i do like the bottle shape i'm keen to cute bottles and i like this little thing on it i don't know why it just does it for me um but i'm absolutely happy i love this um the girls who get it get it the girls who don't don't get you some victor and raw flower bomb so this is not a perfume per se but it does smell good and it goes on your body so I added it to my collection. It is the Tom Ford uh, Soleil Blanc Body Glitter. This is the body glitter. Um, I got this because one of my favorite influencers, Leah's Face, uses it. Um, and she recommended it, especially on travel and vacation. And I have been traveling last year and I plan on traveling internationally this year. So I had to cop this, it was a no brainer. And it smells good to me. It's like a very light scent. I know I shouldn't be spraying all these scents on, but I'm in the house. Who's gonna, who gonna, who gonna test me? Oh. Oh. Even though it's a nice shimmery butter glitter, it smells like a nice cocoa butter. And I really like that. So you can never go wrong with a cocoa buttery scent. And this Soleil Blanc body glitter gives me a nice cocoa butter. And then it also 
shines me up really nicely. So if you are in need for a travel necessity, I would definitely suggest this time for so like Blanc. Get your body all nice and shimmery on that beach, girl, because that's exactly what I'm about to do. <laughs> so like Blanc is actually pretty affordable. It is $34. Um, so when you pack some things for your future travel plans, definitely add this to your bag. All right, so we are moving into our last full size bottle. This is the full size Gucci Flora. Um, I was so in love with the travel size. Of course, I had to cop a full size. Um, this one is one solid, like one whole fluid ounce. I actually really loved the bottle of this Gucci Flora. It's just so cute. I absolutely love it. And I had, um, and since I was using up all of the mini size, it only made sense for me to cop the bigger size as well. well thank you guys for joining me today. I really really love making these videos despite my little break um i can't wait to keep bringing you more and more uh, i am very excited for the videos that i do have coming up and i hope you guys are excited as well thank you so much for tuning into this video definitely leave me some of your favorite fragrances below maybe i'm missing out help a friend help a community do all of that good jazz and let me know you know what other things you might want to see on my channel i love your feedback i love the commentary i love the engagement Engagement. Even though this is the end of my video, I will be missing you until I see you again, party people. Um, don't forget to like another one of these videos, watch a couple, watch a few, tell your friends and family, and I'm out.